Sir Battle Hare, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say this is a great pleasure to be involved in Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week yet again. But a year ago, in person, I rolled out Etihad's sustainability agenda, and in particular, our commitments globally to get to net carbon zero by 2050. And that's a really big commitment with hard and tangible steps along the way. As far as I'm concerned, it's very, very simple indeed. If you don't adopt and adapt to it, as airlines, you simply won't survive. And that's something I believe Etihad and Team Abu Dhabi as a whole have embraced over a number of years and made very tangible commitments and actions that are taking us on that journey. So the pathway to net zero, some of it quite frankly in aviation is around the physics of it all. Obviously aircraft need power to fly to create lift and obviously aircraft have got more and more sophisticated over the decades. We're very fortunate at Etihad, we've got one of the most modern fleets in the world and in particular the Boeing 787 Dreamliner is the most efficient aircraft in its class. But nonetheless the physics of flight means that it's always going to be a challenge to continue to get better at getting better. But well, that's exactly what we've been doing, particularly around our Greenliner program and our Echo Demonstrator program, because a lot of it boils down to fuel. And of course, when it comes down to fuel, and of course the challenge to burn in less of it, there's a number of dimensions. First of all, operational efficiency. How do you tune every last area of opportunity in using less fuel in the way in which the aircraft is operationally deployed, be it on the ground, be it the way in which you optimise flight plans, the way in which certain things are implemented to reduce even more weight that allows us just to be able to eat away at the fuel burn on, from an operational standpoint. But of course the other big area is sustainable aviation fuels. Bioenergy uh, challenges have been around for a number of time and SAFs are something that we've warmly embraced. In fact, right now, Etihad holds some global records for the deployment of sustainable aviation fuels, up to 50% in some of last year's trials on long range uh, travel on our eco demonstrator. But the other area is around synthetic fuels, which of course some people call e-fuels now. And this is very exciting as well because this is where hydrogen mixed with CO2 gives another alternative. So the nice thing about this for us in aviation now is there are alternatives. Being part of Team Abu Dhabi means that there's a far broader Abu Dhabi sustainable vision. And of course all the goals that come from that means that we're working with many other leading partners here. I've mentioned already our carbon offset programme and in particular with the 2021 offset of the whole of the Green Liner. So that's a big announcement from us. Our flagship in this space will be carbon neutral for the whole of 2021. But I'm delighted today as well to announce an extension uh, to our carbon offsetting, working in partnership with Shell in actually taking more emission units, as well as rolling out a voluntary guest scheme where you can actually buy into uh, carbon offsetting as well, is some of the many things which will also bring this to part of our pathway to carbon neutrality. So in short, we're here in a sustainable way, but actually trying to sustain this objective because it's a long-term game. And that's why I think Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week plays such a big part in bringing the community together, bringing smart ideas, bringing wonderful challenges, but also keeping us all on track. Have a wonderful time, and I look forward to speaking to you all face-to-face, -face, hopefully, this time next year.